come out of your busy schedules to we'll start again. Good morning, everyone. Thank you very much for joining us this morning and, and taking time out of your busy schedules to be here this morning. Um, as chair and non exec director of the Cambridge and Peter Growth Company and the chair of GrowthWorks, I'm very excited to be here to launch and be part of the team that's launching GrowthWorks to you today. I think we all have one thing in common, and that is we are, we are all based within the Cambridge and Peter area. Uh, and they all have a vested interest in seeing the economic development in the region, but also our businesses thrive and grow. And, and that'll be the focus of this morning's conversation and about how growth works, hopefully can support you as business leaders um, in that venture. So we'll just go to the agenda, please, Tracy. So just a level set where what we took to achieve today um, so the key objective is really to uh, introduce GrowthWorks to, to all of you um, and to take any questions you may have once you've been through the content. Um, we have, uh, I'd like you to say we have the new elected mayor, Dr. Nick Johnson, um, joining us uh, this morning and give some open comments. And then we'll get into an overview of GrowthWorks, what it is. Um, we'll introduce the, uh, the consortial partners that we're working with to deliver the service. And then each of the service line leads will then take you through uh, their areas and how they can best support you to be successful uh, with business growth. Uh, and then we'll wrap up the end, uh, we'll have a summary around um, next steps uh, and there'll be a Q&A. And as uh, Tracy indicated at the start of the session, if you could all uh, use the chat function to put questions in and then I'll come back at the end of the session and we'll work through those questions and, and taking each one in turn. But at this point, um, I'm delighted to be able to introduce you to our newly elected Wim Mayor, uh, Dr. Nick Johnson, to make some opening remarks. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you, Nigel. Uh, thank you, everybody, for coming to the GrowthWorks uh, launch. Cambridgeshire and Peterborough, or as I like to refer to as Greater Cambridgeshire, has huge potential ahead post-COVID pandemic, and our work is to work together to unlock it to create a community of opportunity. As the Mayor, I am committed to driving truly inclusive growth, which brings opportunities for people across every section of society, across the entire region, and in a way that helps build community cohesion. I want to enhance improved public health and be respectful of the environment. Growth Works is part of that plan, and it will ensure that all parts of the region have the potential to thrive equally in a truly balanced economy. Growth Works will have the most impact by engaging and listening to workers, to the learners and to the business leaders across the region. This is not a top-down program. Our partners, stakeholders and the business community need to be and will be actively involved in Growth Works and they will help inform our decision making and the investment. By coming together, and working collaboratively with our businesses, education providers, and the local authority partners, we will deliver the strongest, quickest, and again, most inclusive possible post-COVID economic recovery. Compassion, cooperation, and community will be at the heart of GrowthWorks. That is the programme we will be sharing with the culture of the combined authority. So how do we align the GrowthWorks to the three Cs? Even during mobilisation, our work in building prosperity across the region has shown how growth works will align to the three Cs. One, compassion. COVID has been a tough time for many businesses and individuals. Our programme will ensure that we are here to accelerate high growth SMEs through coaching, funding for strategic support and investment. We will also ensure every business who wants support will receive access to coaching resources. Skills are working to ensure that everyone who is needing to reskill or rejoin the workforce has every opportunity to find the right role matched to their current or future skills through the skills portal. Cooperation. We have always said we need to listen to the many stakeholders and providers across the region. We are working to complement the existing organisations and providers to support businesses to bounce back post COVID. While there are many voices, Keeping the cooperative spirit is key to delivering the programme outcomes. Community. With the combined authority, we have presented to each district, contacted every high school and provided grants across the region. Further, our growth coaching teams, 20 plus years of substantial track record of support, 
to all members of society speaks for itself. GrowthWorks commitment of the 1 million funding allocation for women-led businesses shows we are strongly aligned to connecting across the whole of the community. So the fourth C, well, that can be changed. Here is an opportunity to do things differently, an opportunity to do things well. Compassion, cooperation and community are at the heart of everything we do. So come on, let's do this. Let's make growth works a success. Let's make Greater Cambridgeshire really great. And with that, I hope you enjoy the rest of the launch process. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Mayor. We can move to, we go to the next slide, thank you. Um, so before we get into the, the main kind of guts of the material, what I'd like to do is just spend a few minutes um, talking through, well, how, how do we get here? Um, and we know what was the background to GrowthWorks? And you can see on the slide that uh, we go back as far as late 2018, um, there was an economic, independent economic review um, conducted around Cambridgeshire and Peterborough, um, which identified the need for business rebound and a growth service. Um, and more widely than that, also identified housing shortages, uh, transportation issues, um, and education uh, needs, all of which will help businesses grow. And, and those are other projects that have been, have been considered. In 2019, the response to that independent review was the local industrial strategy, what's known as the LIS, which can be found on uh, the Combined Authorities website. And you can see that really business growth was and service was identified as the vehicle to address the needs that were set out in the, in the independent review, with a target to create medium term impacts, but in the fastest possible short time. And I'm very pleased to say the programme has developed from input from a number of partners and stakeholders across the region. And I'd like to take the opportunity to thank everybody that's on the call today that has provided input, um, because without you, I think um, we'd have struggled to get to where we are. And moving on then, we had 20, obviously, as we went into 2020, we had the pandemic. And at the same time, we looked at a local economic recovery strategy, the ARS. And that again supported the need for the business growth service and about the same time in parallel the program was moving into the procurement phase um, having gone through a COVID-19 uh, assessment and now that led to earlier this year in February um, Gate the Economic Growth Services uh, GG and their consortial partners who you'll meet this morning um, were signed as the uh, the partner and I think what makes this unique is it brings really the best of the public and private sectors together to drive economic growth. And, and that leaves us with the vision of accelerating the rebound and regrowth of our economy to lead the nation out of the, the pandemic, rebooting to achieve our ambition, ideally of doubling GVA um, out by the next 25 years or so to 2042. And as the, uh, the mayor has indicated, um, greener and digitally enabled and inclusive. So, so what is it? Well, what you're going to hear from the team today, it's a combination of um, four services that are kind of linked into a one-stop shop, and we'll talk you through the process of how you can access those services. Um, first, the first service is a growth coaching service, which is really about engaging and supporting the highest potential companies in terms of growth, in terms of SMEs, and we're primarily talking between companies between three and five employees and 250 um, and help them build their capacity for growth and sustain the period of growth. Um, so it's about sustainability rather than just short term gain. And in, inward investment service um, where we're looking to bring companies uh, both from the UK market, but also internationally into the region. A very important skills brokerage service to enable us to match talent and ensure that the skills have been developed in the region to, to support the businesses in the region and a capital growth investment fund to allow companies to make those investments with our support um, to allow to enable them to continue to um, grow their businesses and potentially um, move them forward. And we have some, we have some metric targets that we'd like to achieve in, in the next 30 months. Um, we have a target around creating excess of 5,200 jobs, um, an additional 1,400 apprentices, looking to grow the gross value out across the region. Uh, and not only that, but focusing on all three sub-economies. So Greater Cambridge, Greater Peterborough area and the, and the Fens. 
recognizing that all three of those sub-economies have different challenges and the companies that operate within those uh, regions also have different challenges. So we want to get very laser focused on how we help those sub-economies. And numbers are one thing, but much more than that, what's important to us is recognizing that the impact that we have by achieving the targets and hopefully exceeding these targets. And that is to think about the people that's behind the numbers. And coming back to the mayor's earlier comments, by achieving these numbers, working together, creating the economic growth, we are helping families, we're helping individuals really develop their well-being. And ultimately, we look to make the region a great place to work, live and learn. At this point now, I'd like to introduce you to Paul Webster. Paul is the project manager um, lead for the consortial and the consortial partnership, and he will take us through the rest of the presentation. Thank you, Paul. Thank you, Nigel. Thank you everyone for joining us this morning. And in the introduction to Growth Works and how it can help you as both individuals and, well, individuals, workers, and businesses, Growth Works is a consortium of experts delivering four service lines by subject matter experts best in class that are here to help you optimize growth, whether as an individual or a business. You'll shortly hear from Rebecca Becker Nutter on Inward Investment, Gareth Priest on Skills, and very soon Bev Hurley in relation to the Growth Coaching Service line. GrowthWorks has been designed to make an impact and change for people and business. We'll be working across every segment of business, from startups to SMEs who are just on their journey, still looking to get stable to grow and recover from COVID. We'll also be providing support to obviously high growth businesses, which Bev will touch on shortly, but also large corporates and large privately held businesses will still be able to receive support from GrowthWorks, whether that's nurturing a new talent pipeline or working on where to grow or enhance their operational footprint by working with the Inward Investment Team. It doesn't matter what subsector of industry you're in, we'll be here to support you. And we have a team and network of experts, both here on the ground locally, across the UK, and also in international markets to give you that global ambition you need to grow your business with real on the real value, high value on the ground support in whatever sector or core market you wish to grow, whether local, national, or global. So whether you're an individual starting your workplace career or an experienced worker looking to accelerate a change in your career. GrowthWorks has a solution for you. Whether you're an entrepreneur starting out or a seasoned executive, we will have an offer for you. And I hope that you stay with us over the next hour to learn more about that. What makes GrowthWorks so powerful is the fantastic toolkit that has been made available to us. Not only do we have the resourcing and the staffing to give you a high touch service, we also have a well-funded program to direct funding to unleash the energy and excitement inside industry that is really looking to snap back post COVID. So whilst we'll also have a service for every business, no matter what stage they're at in recovery, launching or expanding, we've got an exciting toolkit that will see eight and a half million in grant funding come out for investment in growth, as well as 4 million in grant funding for those in growth coaching and growth services. Putting that together, that makes us one of the most well-funded programs to support local businesses across the nation. And we're very excited to work with you, to hear from you and engage with you on what GrowthWorks can do to help you bring your growth journey to life. Some of you may already have been working with GrowthWorks in the last few months. We've been working across the community, across the entire region and several sectors. As you see, the skills service portal is now live. We've engaged in skills conversations with businesses and over 300,000 has been pledged in apprenticeship levy to support smaller and social enterprise businesses to have an impact on training up their workforce. The growth coaching team has already worked with 67 firms completing a diagnostic of their growth journey. There's over 30 startups on courses already enrolled and they've delivered several peer-to-peer -peer cohorts already. The Inward Investment Team have expanded the local business community with seven new businesses on patch. And in awarding and supporting businesses locally, 
we have awarded two million pounds to 32 businesses to help them make a step change on their growth journey. So to, not only are we making a local pragmatic impact in the short term, but we're also here for a longer term vision. We want to see the greater Cambridgeshire region receive the accolades it deserves and the global and European acknowledgement that it is the centre for businesses to start, scale and thrive in a global marketplace, bringing their local community with them and ensuring that every person inside the region can get a quality job, a quality career near their home in a clean environment that they will enjoy and improve their health and of them themselves individually and the broader community. This comes together by attracting low, national and international audience and innovators working to show that the Cambridge, already established Cambridge ecosystem is incredibly successful and world renowned, that it is already the most active VC location outside of London, but ensuring that it continues to grow and that it is this seen as a national location to launch a business and scale a business and attract a quality workforce. In that regard, we'll be expanding our reach to work with more entrepreneurs, more investors, to ensure that the cycle continues to grow, that more entrepreneurs attract capital, attract talent, that lead to successful outcomes for both the business, the investor, and the community. And then in itself will attract more investors, more entrepreneurs, and more skilled people to the region to ensure that the ecosystem continues to thrive. So we look forward to working with you, not just today, tomorrow, in the short months ahead, but longer term about ensuring that the greater Cambridgeshire region really be, echoes that global beacon that it already is, but starts sending some shockwaves around the region about how we can make a real impact and change in supporting businesses to achieve their growth ambitions. I would now like to introduce you to Bev Hurley, CBE, who is leading the growth coaching service. Bev. Good morning, everybody. Uh, it's great to be with you today for the launch of the Growth Works, growth works Service. We know that there are all kinds of challenges in and scaling a business. In our long experience of supporting high growth companies, the top three are consistently the same. These latest stats are from the Scale Up Institute conference in December. And we're to, here to help you overcome these and any other growth barriers you face. Next slide, please. We're YTKO. And one of the things that make us different is that we've been there and done it. I bear the scars and have enjoyed the thrills of rapidly doubling in size twice. The first one was a nightmare. The second was much better. We passed 100 people. So we put a premium in our recruitment of our frontline teams on choosing people who've also got the business t-shirt so that they really understand from first-hand experience what it's like to walk in your shoes. And you can see here some of our growth works delivery team. Some more will be joining us next month. Next, please. YDKO have survived and thrived for over 40 years. And back in 2006, we went on a non-profit mission to support 20,000 businesses and create 10,000 jobs for the UK economy by 2020. We smashed that challenge a year early. And in that time, we've helped businesses of all shapes, of all sizes, from all sectors across the UK. And on the way, we also helped 30,000 individuals explore starting up a new business. In our last recently concluded service in London, which was a very short two year program, over half the businesses supported in the first year had already achieved turnover increases, averaging 64% in the second year. So we're confident that the advice we give and the content we share with you really works. In the graphic on the right, produced by the independent analysis of all of our public sector work, I'm particularly proud of the stats on the bottom right hand corner, our triple bottom line return on investment, and that we're a beacon of excellence for equality and diversity. And those stats apply across all of our commercial work as well. 
So we're very much looking forward to bringing this track record to the Cambridge and Peterborough region. Next slide, please. So what's on offer for you in the growth coaching service? First of all, um, it's a wraparound support to give you everything you need. It's tailored for you. There's nothing that's off the shelf. You will have exactly what you need. And as Paul said, we're looking to find the top thousand growers in the region, either already growing and we can help put the foot on the gas <clears throat> or growth ambitious with real potential to scale. And we can help you on your journey as well. So I'm just going to touch on each of the things on offer. Next slide, please. So we'll be running lots of expert masterclasses, workshops, courses uh, and accelerators. We're already in the middle of running our level two growth accelerator. In fact, it's day two this afternoon, not long after the launch, and we're planning level three. You can find on our website details of the first phase of courses leading up to the summer holidays, which include building a game changing talent strategy to get those all important people performing at the top the level they can be. Uh, an introduction to raising equity uh, to uh, blow some of the myths away for those of you that might be thinking of that as a route to your um, investment growth. And many more will be happening after the holidays. Next, please. We think one-to-one -one support is vital. It can be really lonely growing a business. Um, there are so few of us around and you often think that perhaps you're the only one experiencing these challenges of growth. Now, that's almost certainly not true. Other than one or two technical or sectoral specifics, pretty much all the challenges of growth and the key squeeze points on the growth journey are the same for most businesses. And that's why we start our process once you're enrolled with an in-depth business review, understanding those challenges, agreeing the priorities with you that you want support and help on, and ensuring you get the tailored service for your business. Next, please. And it's not just us and my team. Uh, we're building a knowledge base of expertise to help you find additional support, which of course we can enable through a 50% matched revenue grant. We'll talk more about that in a moment. So when this database goes live to our teams at the end of next month, we'll be constantly building it out throughout the rest of this year to find you exactly the specific support that you need beyond what we can provide for you. Next, please. <clears throat> and later this year, we'll also be launching our peer-to-peer -peer mentor support community. <clears throat> Excuse me. Matching our clients who want the benefit of constructive, supportive challenge and one-to-one -one guidance with appropriate mentors. We'll also be running a training program for those mentors so that you can be absolutely assured of the quality of that mentoring service. So you can see that we'll be building a very rich support ecosystem surrounding the growth work service. Next, please. But right now, if you don't want to wait, you can join one of our next professionally facilitated peer-to-peer -peer action learning cohorts. You'll be matched with other business leaders at approximately the same stage of the business journey. The feedback from phase one of peer-to-peer, -peer, which finished in March, has been absolutely fantastic, particularly from those businesses who were initially perhaps a bit skeptical or, or unsure what the benefits were going to be. This involves a, a, a fortnightly get together of two or three hours, in total 18 hours of support time with your peers and uh, your facilitator. And the ethos is all about actively contributing to the challenges of the peers in your group and receiving back from it, as well as, of course, making connections with people just like you facing the same challenge. Next, please. And 
finally, we also bring you the equivalent of a two week intensive growth accelerator course via GrowSmart, our fantastic e learning platform. That means you can learn at a time and a pace that suits you how to create your growth strategy, your marketing strategy, your digital strategy, your financial strategy, and do deep dives in any of the specific areas where you might be lacking a little bit of knowledge or skills. Next slide, please. <clears throat> oh, so there we go. Sorry, next one. So who's it for? Um, anybody in the region, including in the wider local enterprise partnership area, which is slightly larger than the Cambridge and Peterborough Combined Authority. Uh, you need to have at least three employees. You can be a social enterprise or a charity. They're still eligible, provided you have the growth potential and ambition. <clears throat> and we take a really inclusive approach to what we do. As Paul said, nobody is going to go away empty handed. If you're not quite right for the Get Set Accelerate uh, program, if you're not one of the thousand just yet, but you really want to get there, we have help. We will support you on that journey. And you'll have unlimited access to uh, either of our e-learning platforms. If somebody is just starting out, they can access a, a complete 50 hour course on how to create a sustainable business. So it's not just for growth. Everybody can get something. Next slide, please. So this is a customer journey. Um, we'll just touch very quickly on this. I'm doing lots of marketing following the launch. Everybody comes into the growth hub. There's no wrong door to finding us. It doesn't matter how you come to us, whether that's phone, email, somebody's told you about it down the pub that we can all now enjoy again. <clears throat> You'll come into the growth hub, do the diagnostic, and from there on, you'll get signposted to the right um, support that you need. So any any business inquiry can come into the growth hub and then hopefully if you're one of our thousand you'll go on to this uh, growth coaching journey with us providing the wraparound support so the diagnostic is the first step and then after that we will let you know what next hopefully starting with a one-to-one -one business diagnostic to really <clears throat> get below the the bonnet of your business and find out how we can make that car go faster. So that's it in a nutshell. Next slide, please. <clears throat> we're, we're here, we're ready, we're already supporting clients. Uh, I think we had another 25 uh, diagnostics come in today. So we're there ready for you um, to help you get to where you want to go. So just start by coming onto the website finding out more and we look forward to working with you over the years to come. Thank you. Thanks Bev. And you can contact Bev and the team on the details attached. So growth works with funding. Well, as I touched on earlier, we have one of the most powerful toolboxes across the country to support local businesses. And in that Bev was touching on the funding available. So there's four million pounds available for services to support your growth with strategic support, grant writing, relocation. If there's a specific support you need, you can come and apply to receive match funding on the services you will need and tackling those issues or opportunities that await your business. There's also eight and a half million for investment to scale your business. And that's whether it's new capital investment and expenditure into your building, into your business, or it's equity investment that you need because you're not quite ready to go to market to receive traditional debt funding. And equity funding is what you need at this point in time to really bring your business through its growth options. So on the capital expenditure grants, what can you apply for? Well, if you're looking to invest in your business, somewhere between 50 and 300,000 pounds in capital expenditure, that you're looking to create jobs at the same time and apprenticeships, then you should be able to apply to compete for one of the capital expenditure grants. Now you do have to be a customer of GrowthWorks and Bev Service 
and ensure that you're receiving that high-end coaching support. But if you are, and you've got the funding available to invest in your business and you're going to create those jobs and that investment is more or less traditional cap capital expenditure or some sort of software development um, or longer term licenses, then please do get in touch with Bev and her team about how you can compete for the capital expenditure grant so you can make those larger investments that lead to productivity, lead to the comfort to grow your business across uh, whether it's new products, new markets, new services, by all means, that is there for your use. We have also listened to business and what you've told us about application processes, that very lumpy applications, very in very infrequent time schedules isn't how business works. Business wants to be able to say, I have an opportunity, I've received an order, I want to invest, and if we can get this, I can compete. We wanna work with you in that regard. So for that reason, we're having an evergreen application process. And that means working with the Growth Works Growth Advisor, being able to sm submit an application on a monthly basis. There is no shut door, there is no closing period. It will be open until the 30th of June, 2023. And so if your business has an opportunity to make those investments, we'll be here to support you. Some examples how we've already supported businesses uh, since March is we've awarded grants to 32 businesses across the region. An example of some of the support and the job creation and opportunities that's giving across the local community. So we had job, we had recipients receive grants in the Fens, in Peterborough, in a Cambridge, and in the broader Cambridgeshire area. Whether it was from food, uh, advanced engineering business services, a, a quite technical aerospace sector work, it, whether it was in grounds management and maintenance, we covered a very broad spectrum of businesses. So whatever subsector you're in, if you're growing, you are investing and you're going to create jobs for the local community, we do want to hear from you. Now, not everyone is ready to make those large investments. Some of them are still on that exploration journey of ensuring that they're products are right for market that they're building to scale. And the combined authority understands that and has provided an equity investment fund to ensure that we can support businesses who might need the equity to become a high growth SME business. So whether you're in seed funding or into series B, we're looking to support you with equity investments of between 50 to 250,000 pounds. You do need to have at least twice the amount you're looking for secured with other foundation investors. It can be multiple, it doesn't have to be one. And the investment by us is there to support you to get to the next milestones, provide a longer runway for your business to give you more comfort to build the business, to invest in the jobs, to create that scale and get the next funding round so it's successful. So of course, it's an equity investment. It will still be a robust assessment on the business case, the quality of the management and the commercial model but it is a new source of funding that if you already have a network of investors you're working with, this is a great compliment to them, particularly as the future fund is now closed to most SMEs, this is a great alternative for you and your business to continue its growth journey. And we look forward to bringing these wonderful elements to your business across the region. I now would like to introduce you to Gareth Priest for the Growth Works With Skills. Thank you, Paul. Uh, good morning, everybody. Uh, I'm Gareth Priest, Managing Director of Growth Works for Skills and the former Skills Specialist at the Department for International Trade. And in that role, I supported businesses, large and small, on all aspects of accessing talent. In doing so, I encountered skills brokerage services up and down the country and generally found that they were fragmented, confusing uh, and ineffective. I'm delighted here to be here to launch our new innovative demand-led skill service, Growth, Growth Works with Skills. We've designed the service because it brings the pieces of the skill service together and focuses on strategic consultative conversations that help businesses answer the question, how do I get the skills I need into the business? We're creating an enabling environment. We're helping employers understand the needs, articulate them and drive demand across the provider network. We're trying to inspire the provider network to respond to those demands. <clears throat> and this could be through apprenticeships, funded learning, full cost training, or recruitment. 
but in just about helping businesses get the skills they need and helping individuals grow into the roles that are available to them. <clears throat> Growth Works for Skills provides a single shop window that helps uh, access informative and uh, knowledge building information to access talent for employers around apprenticeships, both prospective learners, their parents and employers. It complements work we do on schools, careers advice, with our enterprise coordinators and our network of enterprise advisors, more on which later. The links between schools and colleges and employers is critical for showcasing the opportunities and in inspiring individuals, inspiring the next generation. Most people don't know what happens inside most buildings. And so creating those links and those partnerships to be able to showcase the opportunities to the residents of Cambridgeshire and Peterborough to see the diverse range of businesses, the job roles and the career opportunities is hugely important to enable people to switch careers, take advantage of new opportunities, and to uh, indeed embark on their new careers or start back in work. We support all this with labour market intelligence, working very closely obviously with the combined authority and the work they've done, and with careers information that's based on our platform. And this is all supported through events, webinars, and face-to-face -face meetings, where we hope to get to know you and to support you in your business growth journeys. We create uh, the, um, the resources as required, as well as having a bank of resources available. So we'll always be looking for your feedback on information that you would like to see, and we can make that available to you. Next slide, please. We've brought together an exceptional team with extensive experience across skills, growth coaching, strategic HR, economic growth, international trade, apprenticeships, careers advice, and skills brokerage. We were lucky to inherit a small team from the previous provider and they've their local knowledge combined with our innovation has helped us hit the ground running We've been in mobilization but still delivering since february and we're delighted to be able to launch officially today and really start to engage with business to help you understand the opportunities ahead next slide please we do have uh, as was uh, highlighted earlier contractual obligation to deliver our numbers, we're focused on apprenticeships and learning outcomes, we want organisations to engage in those things, but this is about impact. This is about impact on individuals, impact on businesses, and impact on community. We're here to make a difference for the residents and businesses of Cambridge and Peterborough. We want employers to understand the benefits of growing their own talent. We want residents to take advantage of training opportunities and to learn about the opportunities that are available locally and to embark on high quality careers and well paid jobs. We want young people in Cambridge and Peterborough to see and embrace the opportunities that are available on their doorstep. And we want sustainable employment where local residents can take advantage of local opportunities and that we can create the jobs and the skills available in all parts of the Cambridge and Peterborough region. It means we can actively focus on all of the districts. We can look at flexible working. We can help create opportunities at a very local level and we can help employers to use the apprenticeship programs, for example, to fill hard to fill vacancies rather than leaving them vacant. So all about the impact, all about the people. Next slide, please. So when I said that we were bringing together fragmented, previously fragmented services, this is what it looks like for us, an inclusive, connected, growth focused service. At the center of it, and I'll come on to more detail about this in a second, is our Talent Development Maturity Index, which ranks organisations on a scale of one to five. And I'll talk about that more in a second. But what that does is it helps us understand what information employers need and then how we can focus our support. We cannot hit our targets and we cannot create the impact we would like simply by focusing our service on those who know what they want and are already engaged. We need to and want to engage more people and more employers in strategic conversations around skills. We're, most uh, skills services are generally product focused, whereas we're solutions focused. We know that some organizations will come to us and say that they want apprenticeships, and absolutely we can help them do that. But we also see that as the start of a bigger conversation to understand how organizations develop their talent, access the skills they need, and ultimately grow. We can support organizations with online resources, with face-to-face -face meetings and with events. We can provide telephone and face-to-face -face support. And also there will be some strategically account-managed companies alongside the growth coaching service 
and the Inward Investment Service. Our digital talent platform is at the heart of this. We have all vacancies listed and individual employers can list their vacancies on the platform too, where we can match them to individuals who can create a profile and upload their CV and our AI functionality will match individuals to vacancies that are available. All apprenticeship vacancies are listed. Every single training course that's listed on the Education Skills Funding Agency register is listed. And all of these are searchable through the digital talent platform on the front page. Careers information and advice is available to schools and indeed everybody else alongside labour market intelligence, a full list of searchable courses. And then we hope that this will lead into progression into learning and employment opportunities. Our excellent team will be on hand to take calls and emails, and we will happily engage in conversations to help organisations understand how to take advantage of these opportunities. I want to talk to you about our Talent Development Maturity Index. This Maturity Index is a simple questionnaire based on an organisation's ability and propensity to engage strategically in recruitment and training. What we've found over many years of working across uh, business communities is that organizations that are not yet ready to engage in strategic conversations tend not to do well in recruitment of apprenticeships or succession planning. The problem is not necessarily the marketing of those products in the, of themselves, but it's more about their ability and their systems and processes to take advantage of the opportunities available. By ranking individual organizations and benchmarking them against uh, other organizations, we can see where people sit on the talent development maturity index and then dedicate and provide support in very directed ways to help them understand where they need to make changes and quite often very minor changes around their HR function, training, people data, recruitment, performance management or resilience. In doing this, we can help organizations move up the maturity index, we can create more organizations that are happy and willing to engage in strategic conversations around training development, and we can offer more opportunities to young people and those switching careers by helping organizations invest and engage in the training conversation. Next slide, please. So we will be supporting organizations uh, across multiple stakeholder groups. We support schools and colleges through our careers and enterprise company contract. We have, schools have dedicated enterprise coordinators and we have a high functioning enterprise advisor network. We're always keen to expand our enterprise advisor network. These are volunteers made up from employees of organizations. So if as an employee, you want to engage the next generation and understand and help them understand the careers and opportunities available, please do contact us and look for volunteering opportunities or sign up to become an enterprise advisor network. We're helping schools to create excellent careers action plans and we want more employers to engage with schools and colleges so that we can create high quality careers advice and link that golden thread through lifelong learning from school right through to high quality careers. We're also signposting to the amazing resources that are already available across Cambridgeshire and Peterborough. For providers, we're supporting them by brokering relationships into the employer network. We're using our maturity index to increase the volume of employers that are engaged in those conversations. And we'll be linking those into the provider network too. We're also able to work with the combined authority to commission new provision. And we'll be happy to talk to both employers and providers about the demand that is articulated and how we can commission that provision to solve those problems. We want to create links with employers and showcase the work that the providers do across Cambridgeshire and Peterborough region through our searchable course listings and uh, the providers in the network will be receiving a template so that they can list uh, provider their own um, page on our digital talent platform to showcase their employer facing provision uh, in the coming weeks. For employers, as I said, we've got vacancy listing, candidate matching, we've got our diagnostic tools, including the maturity index and uh, training needs analysis multiple toolkits and resources on the website and of course pick up the phone send us an email and we will happily talk to you about your strategic needs around recruitment and training Next slide, please. so if you're ready to talk we would like employers to sign up on the platform complete the talent development maturity index let us know your score from that we can help direct you to the best resources to help you progress and move up the maturity index if indeed you need to Colleges, HE 
and providers, please complete the templates that are coming out to you now. And schools and colleges, please have a look through our resources page. We have events coming up. We'll do full introduction to the platform so we can explain how employers can sign up, how providers can list their details, and where all the great resources uh, are based. There's links to uh, our events on apprenticeships and uh, Kickstart and uh, other training opportunities. Email and telephone numbers are there, along with the website for the Digital Talent Platform. Thank you very much. Thank you, Gareth. I'd now like to introduce you to Rebecca Beckenutter on the Inward Investment Service and Locate Cambridge. <clears throat> Hello, thank you, Paul. Uh, my name is Rebecca Beccanetta. I am the Managing Director of the Inward Investment Service Line for GrowthWorks. I am pleased to have the opportunity to show you how you can benefit from our service and to discuss how we can support your business to either set up, expand, and enter new markets from Cambridgeshire and Peterborough base. My team has worked together for many years supporting inward investment and growth into the UK and abroad. Speaking to businesses to understand and overcome their challenges and to identify opportunities is at the core of what we do. If you are a business wanting to enter the region from another part of the UK or anywhere else in the world, we can help you navigate that process to ensure you can start operating quickly and efficiently. We will connect you to the right networks because we understand that collaboration is integral to business growth and a cohesive community. If your business is already in the region and plans to expand, or if you may be considering moving your business out of the region, our priority will be to remove those barriers to growth. Let us know and engage with us from the start. Next slide, please. We will work with your business to support your future growth plans. We can identify the right people, the right place, and the right markets for your business. If you are considering expansion and are evaluating the benefits of mul multiple areas, through working with us, you can access tailored benchmarking reports that provide data-driven recommendations for the best place to operate and grow. If you're currently here, you will also be able to get support from GrowthWorks and the Inward Investment Service through our account management service. This leverages the, resource, the resources that the region has to offer to maximize your potential and to retain and grow your business locally. If you'd like to work with us to create a case study of your company or enterprise showcasing what you're doing in the region, please let us know. We can get you on our website and you can, you can feed back into any case studies that go into our promotional materials. Likewise, if you are a business that can support and scale companies landing here, we want to cooperate with you to create a soft landing offering and a sense of place that allows companies to hit the ground running. If you have a particular expertise or service that companies entering the region would value, come talk to us. We want to work with you. Next slide, please. While attracting foreign direct investment is important, we also want to attract domestic businesses from other parts of the UK who are looking to scale. If there's a gap in the market or your supply chain that you want help in filling, we will work with you to identify the right company, the right market, and we'll speak to these companies about tangible opportunities in the region through direct outreach, but also utilizing some of the programs and events we're looking to promote your opportunity to a wider audience. We have a healthy pipeline of international businesses, but interestingly, most of the companies we're speaking to are UK businesses wanting to relocate, expand, uh, have an additional office in the region because of talent, location, and cost. If there's anything that you feel is holding you back or you perceive as a barrier to your future growth, come speak to us so that we can work with a combined authority to remove those barriers and mitigate any future risks to your business. In addition to building a soft landing package to accelerate new businesses and growth into the area, we also want to build a collaborative relationships with commercial partners to build a mutually beneficial referrals network. We'd like to understand what services and benefits you provide so that we can connect you to the right company at the right time. We would also like to understand how your clients could benefit from growth work support. By working together, we can provide an end-to-end -end service to those companies wanting to make the region their home that can benefit the entire business community. Next slide, please. Our first market accelerator program is launched this week and it will be running in July. The focus for this one is on attracting innovative life sciences companies and matching, and matching them to opportunities within the region. We will, we will utilize the Department for International Trade International Network to, prom to promote this to key markets. And we will work with you to promote, promote this to your networks. 
In these programs, selected businesses are given the opportunity to pitch to a panel of experts to win a growth work support package that accelerates their journey into the region. We will run several of these. So if you feel your business would benefit from a certain industry focus or in attracting a certain type of company into your supply chain, let us know and we can collaborate on future programs. Finally, the Inward Investment Service is designed to work with you and for you. Our, prior, our priorities are attraction, retention, and growth. So no matter what size, industry, or stage your business is in, GrowthWorks and Inward Investment is a service to benefit all. Please engage with us because we want to hear from you. Thank you. from each of our service lines and what it is we are here to do to work with you and whether it's an individual or a business so wherever you are across the region whatever your story and your journey we want to hear from you so please do engage with us so whether it's with the skills service and you're looking to accelerate your career or start your first one the skills service is there to help you if it's thinking about starting your own business venture, maybe there's a potential redundancy. Learning more and working with Bev and the team is an opportunity for you. If you've already got your existing business and you feel a little bit stuck and some extra support and guidance would be a great help to launch back out of COVID, again, the coaching service has tools and support for you. And if you're growing your business in any form, we would love to hear from you. So growth works, growth works for you, Please come and join us, and I'll now hand you back to Nigel. Great, thanks, Paul, and thanks to the, all the Growth Works team for the, the presentations, um, which I have to say are, are very comprehensive because as I look at the chat, there aren't any questions uh, at this point, so you must have done a fantastic job at uh, um, answering everyone's views. Um, we do have some questions that have been pre sent into us, which I'll go through. Um, in the meantime, if, if any of you on the call do have questions, please use the, uh, the chat function and we'll come back to in a few minutes to, to run through those questions. But in the meantime, I'll, I'll just go through some of the questions that came, that have come ahead of time. Um, the first question I've got is for Gareth. Um, uh, the question is, I want to grow my workforce. Apprenticeships are getting a lot of media attention. However, finding the right talent who want to invest in a career as they, as they learn has been difficult. What services will GrowthWorks provide to help us tackle this? Yeah, it's an interesting one because I think this goes back to one of the, the points I made about the nature of um, traditional brokerage services where it's uh, you know, simply a case of if you have um, a vacancy, whether it's an apprenticeship or a regular vacancy, then it, it's a simple case, or it seems to be a simple case of, of matching kind of somebody who wants it with somebody who's got it. And actually, it's more nuanced than that, because there's a whole piece around the employee employer value proposition and showcasing the opportunity around that apprenticeship, positioning it in the marketplace, and then seeking out individuals who want to come and join that organisation. So as an organisation, what we would do is sit down and have a conversation with the company to talk about what they've done to date and what more they can do. But some of the things that are quite common in this circumstance is understanding who the organisation is and, and whether the general public know who that organisation is, because uh, not, not everybody knows about every organisation. And so being able to understand who they are, what the job role is, what the sector is, what impact they're having on the world, and then showcasing that as a way to embark on a new career. That's how we start to then see the flow of interest into the individual vacancies that are available. And so it goes much broader than simply listing um, a vacancy on a apprenticeship vacancy site or on a, on a job board. And it's, it's about positioning it in the marketplace. And we're more than happy to, to work with organizations to help them understand and, uh, and carry out the, the right actions they need in order to affect that. Thanks, Gareth. Uh, you're popular. Um, another question we had that was pre-sent in. Um, it says our existing staff are great, but like us all could do with some investment in upskilling to retain our competitiveness and then enable us to invest, invest in their remuneration. Can the skills service work with these workforces, not just school leavers? Oh, absolutely. Yes. I mean, I, I think it's really important to say that, you know, the, you know, the vast majority of people 
who are going to be in work in the next 10 years are already in work. And so we absolutely have to work with the existing workforce. So we have a training needs analysis. We can work with an organization to understand what their training needs are across the entire business, both in terms of uh, ensuring compliance, but also uh, to do the job for now, but also their ambition and aspirations for the future. Identify the skills gaps, identify what I would call skills heat spots, where you've got uh, individuals with critical skills, but not necessarily succession planning in place, which may create a risk in an organization, and look at how we can help organizations progress their staff. So we, we can't guarantee that every training course will be funded, but that's a return on investment conversation that we can have with companies about the value of engaging in and investing in training, whether it be full cost training, funded learning or apprenticeships. But absolutely everything from exec uh, through to new early careers and school leavers, we're happy to have the conversation about progression and growth. Super. Thanks, Gareth. A um, couple of questions for Rebecca. The first one, we are looking to reduce our office space from London. Can you find our property options for us? Thanks, Nigel. Um, the answer to that is is yes. Uh, this is um, a common trend that we're seeing post COVID. People are getting used to working from home, and um, they they realize that they don't need the uh, the footprint, the physical footprint that they did they did at one time. So we're seeing a lot of companies looking to move into the region. The proximity to London is very very close, especially with the new train from from Peterborough, um, thirty eight minutes. So yes, if um, you're looking to move, relocate, or set up an additional office, let us know. We have we we have relationships with the agents, properties, and the district councils. We can provide the right space for you. Uh, I'm actually working with one at the moment who, who had a very specific need. They were um, they had an office in London that looked like an old industrial mill, and they really wanted that feeling um, in uh, Cambridgeshire Cambridgeshire office. So we sent them a few properties, um, and they're going to be uh, relocating in July. So yes, if you want to relocate, doesn't matter how big or small your question is, let us know because we can help you. That's great. Thanks, Rebecca. And the next question, we would like to bring some of our suppliers closer to us. Can you work with us in developing a business case on what the benefits would be? Yes. So there's a few ways we could do that. Um, I mentioned one of the market accelerator programs that we're running. The idea is that we center it around a physical, tangible opportunity in the area. The one that we're running in July is life sciences, but future ones certainly don't have to be. So if you feel that there's a gap and you want some suppliers closer to you, let's work with us to one, maybe hosting one of these programs around your, your business needs, but also give us an idea of the types of companies that you want to attract, you want to bring closer to you. We have wide networks, both in the UK and abroad. And if we, if we understand what you're looking to attract and why, we can actually do the outreach for you and start speaking to these companies about the physical opportunity for their business in the region and make those introductions from there. Thank you, Rebecca. And question for Paul on grants. Uh, we've applied before for grants. Do we need to apply again? Unfortunately, the answer to that would be probably yes, in the sense that to be competitive for these grants, yes, you would. And you would need to be a member of the Growth Works coaching service. So first part would be reach out to Bev and her team, join Growth Works find the right product for you, and then that will open up the grant funding corridor. So one of the parts that is important for all the businesses out there, whether they've applied before or not, it's effectively a clean slate. We would like you to engage with us. If you've applied before, we can use some of the work you've done on that business case. We might need to refresh it, but your work won't be lost, but it might just need a little bit of enhancement for the current application forms. But our team will work with you to automate that as much as possible, make it as simple and easy as possible for you to do it. But the door through that is through the Growth Works team and the Growth Coaching Service. Great, thanks, Paul. And then I've got a couple of questions for Bev um, around Growth Coaching. So um, the first question is, what is high growth? Uh, we are an SME. Uh, doing okay, growing from six to nine to 12 over the past three years, but I wouldn't call us high growth. Uh, would we get high growth service? Absolutely. As long as you've got more than three employees, you're eligible. Um, so uh, take the diagnostic, give us an idea of what your challenges are, what the level of your ambition is, um, what that would look like, uh, what are the hurdles on the way. 
Um, just to touch on definitions, there are many. The OECD uh, starts with employing 10 or more people and then has a growth rate 20% a year for three years. That's not very helpful in the UK because 95% of our SMEs employ nine people or less. So typically, the focus of high growth potential support is exactly where you are. You've come through the, the first barrier uh, of getting beyond nine employees. So well done on that. Uh, so absolutely get in touch with us and I'm sure we can help or trebling as long as you've got the potential to grow, increase your turnover, increase your jobs. We really want to talk to you. Okay, thanks, Bev. And one final question. Are there any sectors or business types that aren't supported? Uh, no, we are absolutely open to all sectors. We will try to prioritise, obviously, the sectors that are important in the, the, the list that you touched on earlier, Nigel, uh, because there are some priority sectors for Cambridge and for the sub-regions. Uh, but everybody is welcome and indeed in the first batch of, I think, we're up to about 80 people that have taken the diagnostic. I would think pretty much most sectors are represented in there. So, yes, welcome one and all. Super, thanks, Bev. And just looking at the chat, I don't see any specific questions so far, but um, a couple of comments which are, are really about partnership. Um, one from Joanne who was talking about don't forget to engage with the voluntary community sector across Cambridgeshire. We're always easy to get to, but we, we aren't always easy to get to, but we can bring really positive opportunities for engagement and support change in our communities. Um, and that's very relevant for us. We had a, a, a very um, great discussion with the mayor yesterday around how to use volunteering services and connecting the communities. And you, you heard the mayor talk about uh, communities, one of his three C's. So we, we going to get that. Um, and Tanya made a similar comment about um, engaging with those grant funded and independent training providers who provide skills training via the adult education budget, the CPA. And again, absolutely, um, we will do through uh, through Gareth and the, and the Growth Works team. So at this point, there are there are no more questions um, unless there's anybody raising their hand, which I can't see. In which case we will probably look to close and give some of you your very important time back. Um, just in terms of closing, uh, firstly, let me thank uh, all of the GrowthWorks team for the, uh, the presentation this morning. I think you all found it very uh, interesting. Um, and you know, for everybody on the call, um, you heard uh, Paul's summary about talk to us. Um, I think what's also important to us is we want your feedback, um, not just in not just in terms of you know the work we're doing on, on growing the businesses and your businesses, but also what can we do better. Um, you know, we want to evolve the service. Uh, we want to be working with um, the district councils in in partnership with the chambers in partnership with membership uh, groups in partnership, and we want to be doing all we can to to really drive that economic growth in the region and the well-being for people so any feedback you can give us will be will be really greatly received you can contact me directly um, or via the various links that we have and will have um, on the growth works pages so at this point um, i'll close off the uh, the session thanks again for joining us today and wishing you all the very best of luck as you look to grow your businesses in the years ahead so thank you again for participating and calling in. Take care. Bye now.